my channel. In this video, we are going to see, how to create the CSS ribbons. Look at the final demo, where we are going to create the different types of the CSS ribbons. If you know, how to create the triangles, then it's a very simple to create the CSS ribbons. Feel free to visit my previous videos on how to create the triangles. I'll drop the links below this video. And also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with HTML structure. First, create the wrapper div element, within that create the container with 6 div elements. and add the two different classes to each development. In which one class is different and another class is common to all development. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Give the background color to the body. Now place the wrapper div element in the center of the browser, by setting its position value to the absolute, which is relative to the body, and set its top and left values to 50%. To remove the negative margin, we can use the translate method of the transform property. Set the width, height, and background color to the container. and give the box shadow effect. Set the position value to the relative, so that we can place the child div elements accordingly. Here 6 div elements are the child elements of the parent container. Now by targeting the common ribbon class, set its position value to the absolute, which is relative to the container div element. In this demo, I'm going to use the before and after pseudo elements to create the triangles. Let's create the first ribbon. First, by targeting the ribbon 1 div element, set the width, height, background color and place it a bit above the container using top and left properties. Now by using the before pseudo element, let's create the bottom right triangle. Feel free to visit my previous videos on how to create the triangles, in a case, if you don't know how to create the triangles. I'll drop the links below this video. Set the position value to absolute and by using the border property let's create the solid box. Then set the top left border colors to transparent. And set the color to bottom right borders. 
Thus we can see the formation of the bottom right triangle. Using the top and left properties to position it in the correct position to get the ribbon effect. Similarly, create the second ribbon. Copy the first ribbon code and paste it and just set the right value to 100 pixels. Use the before pseudo element to create the top right triangle and place it in the correct position. And next use the after pseudo element to create the top pointing triangle. For creating the single side pointing triangle, we have to make the three side transparent and accept the pointing the side. Make the border color to white, which look like the container background color. Let's create the horizontal CSS ribbon, style the ribbon div element, by setting the width, height, and background color, using the top and left properties to place the div correctly. Using the before pseudo element create the bottom right triangle.
using the after pseudo element create the right pointing triangle. Watch the video until the end, and see by using before and after pseudo elements, how I'm going to create the different types of triangles. And by using those triangles I'm going to create the different types of the ribbons. Have a nice watch.
Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.